there, card number threes. So your card for this week is the Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands. So the wands are the fire element. So that means we're talking like fiery, inspiration, enthusiasm, zest for life, you know, the kind of people that you just are, you're just drawn to because they're just so passionate and full of life. And I, I talk with my hands, that's the kind of wandsy energy is just that really vibrant uh, life force. So the queen is uh, one of those people that's very inspiring. She inspires people from the inside out. She's, she's a very charismatic leader. And she think of, I, I kind of keep, Oprah keeps coming into mind, but you know, even more fiery than Oprah, even more charismatic and, and energized than Oprah is. But just that kind of energy of wanting to inspire people to change their lives. And and usually the, the queen is also um, a very, obviously very feminine, but she's that passionate, you know, a very passionate queen. Also, the, the cat here indicates that uh, this queen is also a kind of witchy queen. I kind of like that. So people that are into sort of mystical, the mystical side of life, the herbal, she's also got plants around her. So it's it usually indicates a person or it could be you that is interested in in that kind of side of life like either Wiccan or tarot or anything kind of considered new age what we'd have, we would have called new age in the 80s. So basically for this week it means that this energy is all about this energy is permeating around you or it could be how you are um, going to kind of behave or should behave this coming week because this energy will really serve you well. It also, um, to, to express yourself in a really passionate manner and to just really embrace that part of yourself that wants to be, you know, the life of the party or, or even this queen sometimes wants to be the center of attention. She has this secret desire to be a celebrity, you know, either in entertainment industry or in her own personal life. She's that life of the party person. So the only downside, and this almost feels like a warning for this coming week, is the Queen of Wands tends to be very driven. She's very constantly moving forward, and you can really burn yourself out, actually, because you get so passionate and so fixated on something and so excited about something and pouring all your energy into that one area that you just absolutely crash and burn out. I completely relate to this card in many ways. And that's one of the big ways is that you can just burn yourself up. So just make sure for this coming week, whatever it is you're involved in right now, that you're very excited about and passionate about. And is it, is it something even grand like changing the world or inspiring other women or something very awesome that you're, that you're involved in? Either a person or you with this type of energy is coming in this week. And just a reminder to make sure that you don't oh, hyper-focus on what you're all excited about and just make sure you just take some time out to just relax and reflect and do other things that are not attached to whatever it is you're into. So I hope you enjoyed your mini reading for this week. Hope to see you next week. And if you're interested in learning tarot for yourself and others, I really want you to sign up for my brand new course, online course called Dabbler to Diva, the early bird cart opens up February 15th. This is a beta run of this course, which means it's a tester run. I've never done it before. And that means for you, big savings on tuition. So I would love to have you in class. I will post more information on the Facebook page and I hope you have an awesome weekend.